All right, doodle bud. I fight with the tripod every time to get a good angle. <laughs> it's a battle. All right, so today we got this one. This is I. This is one I got on Alibaba. I say I'm going to leave a link to to it. We'll find out if I do. You'll be surprised if you look in the description. It might be there. I'll try my best to remember. Uh, I got this on Alibaba for three bucks, and I think shipping was another dollar. And so this is the Kaweco Sport knockoff, and this one is brass, like nice and heavy. My I don't know how heavy it is. I don't have a scale, and the description didn't have a weight on it. But if I were to weigh it with words, if you were to grab it like this and hit someone pretty hard in the head, you would leave a bruise. So that's how heavy it is. It's pretty heavy. Um, but yeah, direct knockoff of the Kaweco Sport. I, you know, when I first got into pens, that was one of the pens I saw, and I thought, that's a cool-looking pen, I should get it, but for me, it was just too small, uh, it was just way too small, and, and for the price, too, I thought, uh, it's just too small for me, and, and it, if it was really, really cheap, I'd get one. Well, this is why this exists, so I thought, let me try it out. Uh, I have never owned one of the, uh, the Kaweco Sport, the, the correct one, um, but I, I, one of the pen meetings a while ago, when we were able to have pen meetings, can't do that right now, I tried someone's out. And yeah, it was okay, but too small for me to, to pay for, for the full price. But that's what knockoffs are for, right? So here we go. Um, so this is a full metal pen. It is brass. And then they give it this weird, almost like, it's like a satin finish, but then it's like a, an oiled, darkened type of color that they finish, that they put on. I don't know exactly what that finish is. It's a little bit slick. Um, even if there's like a clear coat on top of it, I wouldn't be surprised. But anyways, enough about the finish. You can see it from the picture. Um, your standard deal cartridge converter. So, you know, that's one. It's it's a short pen, so you can't fit much in there. So they got this style where it's just got the little plunger you just up and down real quick so you can do a fast fill. Uh, it's got the little spring in there just to help to break the surface tension of the uh, ink so it's it more flows down into the into the pen pops in so it probably takes short converters as well um i mean uh, cartridges as well i should say goes together you know reasonably well built <laughs> i mean what could you possibly critique for three bucks you could never make this thing for three dollars so pretty good for what you get for three bucks um i don't know if you can see much in there no we don't have enough light how many turns about two turns um so i mean this is a good one just to you chuck it and you don't really care what happens to it, even if you break it, so what? Um, the clip is is seriously stiff. Um, and of course it posts, I to write with it unposted. You could see like, this is why I wouldn't buy this pen at full price. Like my thumb just, and the <laughs> it's gone. Like it's a tiny, tiny little pen. It just, you know, I can't really grip it that well. But uh, it's great, you know, if you got, I got quite large hands, but if you got, you know, even normal size hands, this is small. But if you want something that just you put in your pocket and it's got, you, you're going to know it's there because it's got some weight to it. Um, but you still want it to be a fountain pen instead of a ballpoint because you're a diehard or fountain pen guy like me. Um, you can never be, be allowed to use a ballpoint. Get one of these guys. Take it with you. If it gets scratched up, who cares? For three bucks, you can't go wrong. So uh, let's ink it up. And give you a sample. The uh, on the description it says I'm going to use this Monteverde ink today. This uh, rose noir. Quick comment on this ink. Again, that's such a preference, you know, personal thing. But um, maybe I'll zoom out so it's easier to see me fill it. I guess give me a little more space. Um, you know, I guess not all inks are the best for printing or writing and some are more meant for like artistic stuff and I would say that this is this is one of those inks um maybe it's for special occasions I think I'm out of focus there hold on is that better every time I touch the phone I jiggle the tripod um yeah if you wanted to, to like do serious note taking and stuff I don't think it's the best color for that it's just too faint it's a nice color um but yeah if you were doing some 
some type of artistic stuff. I think this would be a cool color for that, but just not as much for print. That's just how some inks are. They're better for, you know, note taking and, and writing and stuff like that. And going back to, and, and some are more for like artistic type stuff. So if you're going to do some pretty flowers or whatever you want to draw, I, can, I can't draw with crap. Um, I think this is a better ink for that, but I thought I'd just use it because I haven't used it that much uh, for today's review. So to tell you the to tell you the name of it, I wrote it out. This will be the writing sample for this pen. This is the description on Alibaba. We all know this is a uh, Kaweco Sport. Uh, knock off. That's what it is. This they uh, they say it's a medium. And like I said, the description gave it 0.55 millimeters. I would say it's it's pretty close to a medium. Uh, the, the, the thinnest it would be would be a, a fat fine, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's you know a fat fine or a regular medium somewhere around there. Uh, this I would say this is a little bit uh, narrower than my Lamy. Uh, Dialogue 3, which is the 14K nib, and that's a medium. This is a little bit narrower than that, but anyways. Let's give you the writing sample, which will be the description of the pen on uh, on, Ali, on AliExpress. So it is a luxury. This is going to be a long writing sample. Luxury, uh, high quality. Vintage. Brass. Octagon. Throwing all the words at this. Pocket. Let's try some printing. Metal. You're gonna say metal, you gotta say copper, because you already got brass in there too. Why not copper? Uh, oh, travel bag. Iro Rita. Pen. Ink. Pens. Not quite done yet. We wrap it. Here we go. We're rounding, <laughs> rounding the bend. Office supplies. That is the name of the pen. Whoop! You're off the screen. A B C D. Done. Uh, I mean. It writes reasonably smooth. Decent wetness. What more could you want for three bucks? It's so cheap I bought one for a friend. <laughs> Shout out to Al if you're watching this. So uh, yeah, that's that's that. Pick one up, they got different colors. There's even like this cool, uh, it's like an aqua green sort of color. Actually, I might buy it just for the color. And this is a pen if someone's like, oh, that's a cool pen. And maybe they're a client or something like that. I'd be like, you like it? There, it's yours. Three bucks. I really don't care. I'll order more. But yes, so the Kaweco knockoff, the sport knockoff is also known as the luxury high quality vintage brass octagon pocket metal copper travel bag Erosha pen ink pens office supplies. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good one.